It is now a three-way race among Democrats seeking Vermont's lone congressional seat. Today, State Senator Keisha Rahm Hinsdale announced her candidacy to replace current Congressman Peter Welch. Local 22's Dana Casulo was in Winooski for today's announcement. Dana? Lauren, Senator Keisha Rahm Hinsdale is one of three women running for Congress on the Democratic side. And she wouldn't just make history as Vermont's first congressman, she would also be the state's first person of color elected to Washington. In Winooski, Senator Keisha Rahm Hinsdale makes it official. She is running for Congress. To be Vermont's fighter in Washington for our working families, our democracy, and our climate. In 2020, Hinsdale made history as the first woman of color ever elected to the state Senate. If elected, she would make history again. I grew up in my Indian immigrant father and Jewish American mother's Irish pub. I grew up in a small business. I married into a family business. And I know what it's like to struggle. Among those supporting Senator Hinsdale and Winooski were two small business owners. We were a brand new business in Winooski, um, and we are people who don't come from money. We don't come from a background of having access to wealth. Brittany and Chris own Hype Nutrition in Winooski. They credit Senator Hinsdale for helping get their business off the ground. We're all about creating space for BIPOC people, queer people who um, normally feel marginalized in normal gym settings. Senator Rom Hinsdale is the third candidate to enter the race, along with Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray and Senator Becca Ballant. Political science professor at Middlebury College, Matthew Dickerson says, with three women running, it may discourage some men. Certainly when you think on the Democratic side, you think of somebody like um, former Lieutenant Governor uh, David Zuckerman, he might have jumped into this race, but perhaps is thinking, no, this is uh, the time, an opportunity for a woman, uh, and, and maybe I better sit this one out. Dickerson says voters are going to look at them and move beyond gender identity. Certainly each of them brings their own strengths to this. Obviously, as a woman of color, that's an additional uh, historic significance. For today's announcement, Vermont Public Radio and PBS Radio released a poll that showed a lot of voters haven't made up their mind. 21% support Molly Gray, 7% Becca Ballant, and 32% say they're not sure. However, there's a lot of time to reach those undecided voters. Primary day in Vermont is Tuesday, August 9th. Reporting live at the newsroom, Dana Casulo, Local 22 News.